Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am getting ready for a concert that I have on this evening. So I thought I would film my makeup process. Since I'm gonna do a proper sort of full face, natural glam kind of look. And I've shopped my stash a bit to pull out a few sort of older favorites that I haven't used on my channel in a while. Um, there are one or two, of course, sort of products that you see me use all the time too. I guess it's a mixture of like current and sort of forgotten favorites, you could say. So I have just popped on a layer of the L'Oreal Lumi Magique base. Wanted my skin to be nice and glowy today. Of course, I reached for this one. I absolutely love this product. It was a winner in my Honor Awards in 2019. Foundation, I am going in with my Lancome Tainted Doll. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. It's in shade 008, but look what I have back in my life. It is the Flower Beauty Ultimate Blending Sponge. I have not had one of these for probably, I would say, about a year. Like, it's been a long time since I've had one in my life. This used to be my absolute favorite sponge. I have seen rumors online on, like, reviews and stuff on the Flower Beauty website that they might have changed it, so it's not as good as it used to be. But honestly, this one does feel exactly the same as the ones that I remember so I'm curious it's the first time I'm using it today I'm curious to see whether it still performs the same um because I will be devastated if I don't like it as much because it was literally like my favorite sponge for so long and I'm, I've been waiting and waiting for Chemist Warehouse to get it back in stock online I bought two of them and I also bought one of the precision blending sponges to try as well um but I'll try that out in another video but yeah Yeah, no, nah, that still is exactly as I remember it. I feel as if either this is an old one or they actually haven't changed it and maybe those reviews were just like inaccurate. Maybe they got a dud, I don't know. Um, so it's one or the other. So I'm thankful because this still feels amazing. <laughs> I really, really, truly hope they have not changed it because if you can get your hands on like this version, which is super, super plush and squishy, it is honestly the best sponge I've ever tried. The one that won the Anna Awards last year, the Ella Beauty sponge, it's very comparable in texture and I do really enjoy it, but it is a lot more expensive. This was $7.99 from Chemist Warehouse, whereas the Ella sponge is $30 for two. So they're 15 bucks each basically. So still half the price of a beauty blender, but these are pretty much like half the cost of the Ella ones and you can buy just a single one if you don't have to buy a double pack. It honestly blends out foundation like a dream. I love it so much. Mwah. So pleased to have you back in my life. Actually though, going to add a little bit more foundation just around this area where I have a little bit of like old scarring I wanna cover. I don't have any real active breakouts right now so I don't really need like face concealer. So I'm just going to try and get a little bit more coverage with the foundation. Just because the concealer I'm gonna use is quite lightweight. This is the MAC Prep and Prime highlighter in the shade Light, which I bought this like three years ago in America. This is really old. It still smells good, still works well, but I am trying to use it up so that I can do a back to Mac with it. At least in Australia, I don't believe I can buy this color anymore. They have the kind of correcting shades like Radiant Rose, Stroke of Light, things like that, but I can't seem to find the actual sort of concealer colors. Um, and that's the one I love, the shade Light. This is just so nice. It's such a nice lightweight kind of you know, radiant, medium coverage sort of concealer. It just brightens and adds a bit of coverage, but not anything too heavy. I really, really like it, but I am sort of consciously trying to use it up because I am aware that it is pretty old. <laughs> and I have quite a few MAC products in my empties box that I can do a back to MAC with soon so I can get some free lipstick. And then for powder, I pulled out my Lancome powder. This is the Long Time No Shine loose setting and mattifying a powder in the shade translucent i love this powder it's so nice it comes with like a little puff that you can use to apply it um but i'm just going to tip a little bit in here i don't actually find this like super mattifying like it is it does take away a little bit of shine but it's nothing too heavy it's such a nice finely milled texture um, and it really makes your skin look poreless like that's the thing that i loved about it is it helps to diminish the look of pores, particularly around porous areas like here. So yeah, like it definitely does mattify somewhat, but you can still see there's like a little bit of shine coming through. Yeah, I just think this powder is really nice. I'm wanting to give my models prefer powder a little bit of a break because I know it can be a bit annoying to see like the same thing over and over and over and over again. So 
trying to give that one a little break and use up and enjoy some of my long comb powder for a while. I'm going to go in with a bit of bronzer and I'm using my Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in Fair to Light. It's not available in Australia anymore, but I do believe it is still available in the US. Um, which is a good thing because it's one of my favorite bronzers. It's just so nice. I'm using the Flower Beauty powder brush to apply it. I pulled this one out for Alex to use in my Mr. Morton Does My Makeup video. He didn't apply it very well, but it inspired me to sort of start using it again. And I've really been enjoying it the last few weeks. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna do blush after because I love how that looks when your highlighter is a little bit more blended in with your skin and the blush that's on top rather than the other way around. So I'm using my MAC Double Gleam Highlighter. Look at the pans getting bigger every, every time I use it. I know that in the Anna Awards, I gave my glossy highlight winner award to the Savvy highlighter, which I think is incredible. The reason I did was because of the price and the fact that it's very similar to this MAC one. But I have to say that I do still constantly use this product and love it. Um, I just think if you're in Australia, pick up the Savvy one because it is way, 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 way cheaper um, and gives a very, very similar look on the skin. Um, but if you are not from Australia, then MAC Double Gleam is where it's at. Love highlighting this little part of your nose. It just looks so pretty. Then grabbing my Flower Beauty sponge and just blending the highlighter back in with my skin texture a bit. And then I'm going to pop on a little bit of my blush. Today I pulled out a Physicians Formula Butter Blush, which I haven't used one of these in like months. The reason is they're a fantastic formula, beautiful colors. I hate the packaging and I honestly think this is why I'm like just not a huge fan of them anymore. They are just so bulky and they come with this little compartment in the bottom here that comes with like this stupid foam applicator thing that like isn't even very good to apply it with. It's not like it comes with a decent brush. Um, and they could just literally sell this cute little pan with just like a little lid, like make it really small and I think I would reach for it more. And I know that sounds dumb because I don't know, it's just slightly bulky packaging, but it's just, I think I just, I hate that about it. But, oh, the formula is beautiful. So I'm trying to like get back into using them to like remember why I fell in love with them in the first place. I clearly looked past the packaging at the time. This, oh, this shade that I'm using is rosy pink. Not many people talk about this shade. It's very pretty. It's a very soft, cool toned pink. Very good for fair complexions. I'm just using my Surat Beauty Blush Brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my cheeks. This is like a really nice kind of satiny formula. It's not super matte, but it's not glittery at all. Yeah, the formula of these is phenomenal. Like that butteriness just makes it melt into the skin so much better than some of my other powder blushes, which can feel a wee bit like they sit on top of the skin. Like I've been using lately my NARS palette and I adore NARS shimmery blushes, but I'm sort of not sure that the matte ones actually work that well for me because there are quite a few mattes in this palette and I find that they tend to grab and stick to my skin in weird places. Like they don't blend out smoothly on my complexion. Whereas something like this, it's got an almost sort of creamy buttery sort of texture to it as the name suggests, butter blush. And they just, they blend so nicely. So if you can look past the packaging, um, they are beautiful and I do think they are quite worth it. All right, my lovely husband has just brought me a toasty, so I'm just going to eat a little bit of this. Mm. Blurring and smoothing effect, so my skin ends up having a sort of do a double take in the mirror. Gold. Alrighty, but back to the makeup because I only have a short time until I need to head off to my concert and I also have to try and film another video after this as well. For my brows, I'm gonna use the Chi Chi Brow Pomade. I repurchased this recently. It used to be a favorite of mine. I used to use and rave about this product way back in the day. It's an Australian brand, Chi Chi, and their brow pomade is so nice. It's a perfect dupe for the ABH brow pomades. Um, but this time I picked up the shade Taupe because last time I had the shade Blonde and it felt a little bit on the warm side. Um, so I wanted to try taupe, which looked to be a little bit more sort of neutral, cool. And I'm just using my Benefit brow brush to apply it. It is one of those brow pomades where like a little bit will go a long way, so apply sparingly. And it is also one of those formulas that will dry out over time, so in about 18 months or so this will no longer be um, as workable as it is now. It's so nice and smooth and creamy when it's brand new. 
but it's just like one of those pomades that does tend to dry out over time that's the reason I got rid of my last one it just I'd used a decent chunk of it but it had just stopped working as well and then I'm just using a little bit of my Marcel perfect brow all right moving on to the eyes I really wanted to use this again it's the Australis metallics eyeshadow in guns and rose petals again a very old favorite of mine but not something that I've used in a long time. Just gonna put a little bit though of my bronzer through my crease, the Bare Minerals one, just to kind of lay down a little bit of a starting point. And I'll just run a bit of this under my eye with my little BH Cosmetics brush as well. There's a really noisy truck outside, I can't do a lot about it. So now I'm gonna apply this shadow. It's just such a cool formula. It's kind of like, if you guys remember the old like Steeler Magnificent Metals, like not the liquid shadows but the ones in the pots, it's what it reminds me of. So it creates a really metallic foiled effect and you have to apply it with your finger and just like press it on. Oh, it looks really glossy on the lids as well. I just love. It's gonna go back in with a little bit more of the bronzer just to kind of blend it out a little bit. Oh, thank goodness that truck is gone. Okay, so I'm just applying a bit of the Flower Beauty Longwear Eyeliner in Onyx to my upper waterline. And then I'm just going to run a bit of that as well, keeping it really close to the lash line, but I'm going to put it on the top lash line as well. And just smudge that a little bit. And just a bit of the Annabelle liner on my lower waterline. I don't feel like my camera is showing up how beautiful this eyeshadow is. But it is honestly so pretty. Like in real life it looks so... Oh, just gorgeous. Hopefully you can appreciate it. <laughs> I feel like it looks way better in real life than on my viewfinder. I'm just going to apply some mascara. This is just the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Starting to run a little bit low on it. Alrighty, so I just blow dried my hair. And for my lips, I'm gonna use the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. It's literally what I'm using every day that I wear a nude lip. And then I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss in Sugar Sugar on top. Actually, I think that's too shiny. I'm going to end up with shiny eyes and shiny lips. I might actually change that. I'm actually going to apply a little bit of this. The Stella Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in ba Bachi. <laughs> Bachi. I just think a matte lip might look better with the really ultra shiny eyes. And that is the finished look there. I think the, the matte lip actually is a lot better for this look. Because the eyes are basically like super glossy. And especially in real life I was like, well, glossy eyes, glossy lips doesn't work. So this colour is really nice. I do feel like this is actually quite a nice sort of like everyday glam look as well. If you do love a little bit of shimmer and glitter and stuff on the eyes. But you don't want anything too bold in colour. Kind of like a step up from my everyday look, but not quite evening-y. Even though our concert tonight, it is an evening concert. It's an outdoor setting, essentially at the Peninsula Hot Springs. We're literally on a little stage that's amongst the hot pools. So I don't know, it doesn't feel like appropriate to go like super glam. I feel like this is like appropriate. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed seeing this look put together. Uh, if you have any thoughts of your own on some of the products that I used, or if you've got any suggestions for things that are kind of similar that I might enjoy. I always love getting your suggestions. If you want to go check out my blog and see what my latest blog posts are, you can head over to lifebyarnaralane.com to check out some of my blog posts. I do have regular blog posts going up this month. And if you do want to hang out with me in between my videos, I do have a bunch of socials that you can connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.